Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all my lovely students of SM Public Campus 5. This is your science teacher, Ms. Nayira, and today we are back with lecture number three. So I warmly welcome everyone to my class. The chapter that we started was chapter number one, which is on page number one of your science book. And the name of the chapter is Understanding Living Things. The name of the chapter is Understanding living things right we started this chapter then we saw the table of content of this chapter in which we have seen that we learned about living things we have seen their common features common features means which are uh, which are common in all the living things not in plants not in animals uh, not in birds or other thing but every living creature every every li living creature is having uh that feature right afterwards we learned about what are the living things here comes the five common features of living things living things are made up of cells living things grow and change they need energy that they respond to their environment and they reproduce so uh they are made up of cells they grow and change they need energy these are the features which we had we had discussed in detail in our previous classes last week we had no class so today we are going to continue from the fourth feature fourth common feature which is responding to the environment we'll see that how living organisms respond to their environment so let's get started here comes the revision what are the cells cells are the basic unit of living body and every plant has the has cells every human being every animal has the cells okay the living body cannot be uh, made without cells then according to the number of cells we have divided them into two categories we have divided the living organisms into two categories unicellular organism and multicellular organism right in unicellular uni means one the living organism which are having only one cell and the living organism which are having multiple cells, which are having many cells billion cells in their body they are multicellular organism let's go ahead so here comes again the same slide in front of you where we can see that which was our second feature that was living things grow and change on this slide we have seen that how puppies change into dog how birds uh, uh, birds it is bird, B U D bird. Bird is a small piece of stem, which is in plants. They they can be converted into flowers. Child can be converted into adult seeds into plants. One thing here we should notice that plants keep on growing as long as they live. Okay. For suppose if a plant lives for hundred years, uh, till its hundredth year, it will uh, it will have all the functions. Okay, but if we see the animals or the uh, human beings, so they stop growing after some time. For suppose we, if we take the example of our height, our height gets stuck on some of our age and it does not increase anymore. But if we talk about the plants, they will uh, keep growing as long as they, as they live. They will keep growing their leaves, their fruits, their vegetables, their uh, flowers, and these kind of things will be continued till they die. Then we saw that living things uh, need energy. Okay, so the process of taking energy in animals and plants is different. So animals obtain their energy by respiration, by respiration, by respiration, either the human being or the animals. But if you talk about the plants, plants prepare their food in their body. This process is called photosynthesis and they get energy by this process. So here is the detail of photosynthesis. What is important thing over here? The light is the compulsory factor it is very important to have the light to synthesize the food for plants right but in animals we do not require light we just respire this respiration process gives us energy and this process will be taught to you in detail in next chapter okay so here comes the page number, uh, page of your book where we uh, th these pages we have already read now we are going to start from this one hmm, the fourth one feature which is common in living things 
all the living things living things respond to their environment right you are listening to me i am speaking just for you to teach you something right you are my environment i am giving you some of the stimulus some of the change some of the signals and you are responding me i am speaking so you are listening right this is how you are responding me if i ask you to speak you will start speaking what is this this is how you will respond me likewise every living organism responds to its environment to its environment but in a different way if we talk about the plants plants are not uh, same as human beings or animals to in terms of responding environment they will respond their environment in a different way so uh let's read out what we have over here so let's talk about the human beings and animals have sense organs they sense their environment with the help of their sense organs we are having five sense organs and uh i hope that everybody knows about it eyes nose tongue ear and skin these are our sense organs we can respond in to uh, we can respond to our environment with the help of our sense organs they find food and shelter we are talking about the animals animals find their food and shelter the cat knows the dog knows where it's where is the food for it and where it should live so they'll find their food they'll find their shelter this is how animals and human beings respond to their environment but if we talk about the animals uh, plants so plants are not having the sense organs so they are going to reply their environment they are going to respond their environment in a different way now what is that different way let's talk about it they don't need to catch food why they don't need to catch food because they do not obtain food from others we obtain food from others we eat meat chicken beef and mutton we eat and uh, we eat uh, vegetables and Uh, fruits which we obtain from plants but plants do not obtain anything from the outside source they prepare their food in their body they do not catch uh, they do not need to catch their food because they prepare it in their own in in the body of plants and they can do it with the help of sunlight and other factors are there which we have already discussed they don't need shelter this is very important point they don't need shelter so basically they are not going to find their shelter anywhere because they cannot move they cannot go from one place to another uh, the place where they have grown they will live over there till their last year or the last day until they die they don't need any of the shelter kisi ghar ki unhe zarurat nahi hai if they find any of the shelter how how would they get sunlight then for suppose if we if they are having the shelter so how would they obtain sunlight and if there is no sunlight there is no preparation of food there is no making uh, there is no process of photosynthesis and the purpose of plants die right so that's why they don't need any of the shelter some of them respond to the light by turning their leaves and flowers like sunflower if it has ever be happened with you you might have observed or you might have seen on the national geographic channel or discovery uh, usually there are the programs in the tv channels where we see the features of animals and plants right uh, where we learn about the science so if you guys know that sunflowers are the flowers which turn their faces according to the direction of the light this is very interesting what do they do they turn their leaves and flowers by the light for suppose light is in the west so their faces would face the west but as the uh, sun just goes to another way it will change their direction this is how they respond to the light by turning its direction and the last point is very important and this is important because it is included in your copy as well okay we are going to do this question today that there are the plants which uh, respond to their environment by the way if we touch them they will turn their leaves right so they these plants are called as touch me not it means if we touch them they turn their leaves is that clear so that is why they are named as 
touch me not. These are the plants which respond to their environment by turning their leaves. And when do they turn their leaves? When anything or any human, any animal touches it. So it just turns its leaves. So this is how animals or plants respond to their environment in different ways. Now here comes another feature, which is the last common feature of living organism. That is, they have reproduction process. They have a particular uh, process by which they increase their number. They continue their offspring. And this is called reproduction. So the fifth one point is living things reproduce. What is reproduction? The process by which living organism will give birth to its new individual directly or indirectly is known as reproduction. Why we have used the word over here directly or indirectly? Because the process of reproduction is different in different animals, different in different uh, plants. For suppose, many of the plants are reproduced by seeds, but some of the plants are produced by their stem as well. Some of the plants will reproduce by their peels. Some of the plants will reproduce by spores. So what are these? These things are different. Uh, for suppose, uh, we can take the example that reproduction is a process which is common in all the living things, point number one, but it differs in different living things. For suppose, let it be take the example of human beings. Human beings reproduce by giving birth to babies. Right? If we talk about the birds, they reproduce by laying eggs. If we talk about the plants, so they reproduce by their seeds. Right? So let's uh, read these lines one by one. All living things reproduce. This is very important because this feature we have taken for common, uh, this feature we have taken as common feature. Common feature will be common in every living thing. So this is very important to know that every living thing reproduce, every living thing. There is not a single living thing which does not, uh, which does not reproduce. If anything does not reproduce, it means that is not living. This is, you can say that this is the key point that every living thing must reproduce. Human beings give birth to babies, as I have told you, animals reproduce by giving birth to babies or by laying eggs, right? Animals, some of the animals are there, for example, cat, dog, sheep, they give birth to babies, they give birth to their uh, new ones. But some of the animals are there, on the other hand, they lay eggs, for, for, for example, birds. Right, crocodile is there, snake is there, and many more. Plants reproduce by seeds. Plants reproduce seeds from which new plant can come out. Instead of, uh, sorry, apart from this, this process by using seeds, there are many more options by which an, uh, a plant can reproduce. For suppose, I, if I have given you another example over here that the stem of many of the plants can be used to reproduce the new plant, okay? Muhammad, uh, what's your complete name? Muhammad Umar Siddiqui. I have a question, I have a question, I have a question, you have asked this thing many of the times, but what kind of questions you are having? If that is important or that is urgent question, so you can ask me in the chat box, okay? I am not going to unmute any of my student right now. Vanya, you must have copy to beta. Every student has two of the copies for signs. Copy one and copy two. Many of the students have labeled their copy two as test copy. Jo aapke test copy hai, wahi aapke copy two hai, jisme aaj hum kaam karne wale hai, hai?
बेटा वानिया इफ योर कॉपी इज यस वी हैवन डन एनी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इन कॉपी टू अभी तक हमने कॉपी टू में कोई काम नहीं किया है आज जो हम काम करने जाएंगे वो हमारा कॉपी टू का पहला काम होगा एंड द रीजन इज वी हैड नो क्लास प्रीवियस वीक प्रीवियस वीक मेन्स डे थर्सडे वर ऑफ एंड वी डिड नॉट हैव एनी ऑफ द क्लास ऑफ साइंस लास्ट वीक सो दैट इज वाई यू ऑल आर हैविंग कॉपी टू एम टी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू वर्क इन कॉपी टू सो हाउ यू गोन मेनटेन योर कॉपी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू राइट योर नेम outside the copy you will write your section and that would would be marked as science copy 2 science test copy nahi likha hona chahiye kya likha hona chahiye science copy 2 is that clear guys it should be written outside that it is your science copy 2 right then when you will turn over the page the cover page then you will have the first page of index where you need to put the heading of midterm with your blue color pencil okay be updated everyone or please beta jo cheeze aapko pata hai theek hai acha koi bhi uh, useless chat box mein message na kare please jo bhar student koi question kar rahe hote hain wo upar chale jate hain and it is difficult for me to operate everything uh, simultaneously okay so please just listen to me so what you need to do you need to put the heading of midterm with your blue color pencil then you need to write the date that is 25th of august then you will again write the name of the chapter understanding living things i know that you have already written it in copy 1 but it is your copy 2 and if you write question number 5 in reasons so that will not be cleared agar aap direct kaam karna shuru kar denge question number 5 or reasons likh denge hame nahi ba baad mein pata chalega ki ye kaun se question kaun se chapter ke questions hain aur reasons hain so it is better to mention the name of the chapter over here as well copy 1 mein to hai hi hai yahan par bhi likhna hai theek hai so here you need to write understanding living things chapter name of the chapter yes nabiya beta jaldi bole nabiya yes, this you. will be written in copy 2 hmm of course okay, this will be written this will be written in copy 2 what i was saying main is main se hatkar kya keh rahi thi main yahi to keh rahi thi copy 2 mein kaam karna hai just listen to your teacher first then do it theek hai aap pehle puri baat sunenge fir inshallah aapko koi confusion nahi hogi your science copies are interleaf pages copy interleaf pages copy means you will be having one lined page another blank page jab abhi aap aage dekhenge ki kis tarike se hamare paas ek page एक जो है ब्लैंक पेज आता है और दूसरा लाइन पेज आता है ठीक है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू गाइस नीड टू राइट द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर ट्वेंटी नंबर फाइव एंड रीजन दीज आर द थिंग्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डू टुडे राइट देन विल गो अहेड यू विल अगेन मेक द मिड टर्म टाइटल पेज ओवर हियर डोंट डू इट राइट नाउ जस्ट लीव अ पेज फॉर दिस एंड डू इट आफ्टर अभी आप एक पेज ही छोड़ दीजिए अपना मिड टर्म टाइटल बनाने के लिए ताकि आपका टाइम जाया ना हो ठीक है यस यू विल मेक द टाइटल पेज ऑफ मिड टर्म देन यू विल टर्न ओवर दिस पेज टू अच्छा योर राइटिंग शुड बी वेरी नीट एंड क्लीन योर वर्क शुड बी डन वेरी क्लीनली otherwise uh, few of the students are there when they'll get their copy they'll come to know that their work has been cancelled teen se char students aise hain jinke maine kaam cancel kiye hue hain pure question 1 se question 4 tak jo ki humne copy 1 mein kiya tha and the reason was their writing the reason was not using blue color pencil jis jisne blue color pencil use nahi ki hai i have underlined their questions their headings because i do not like it to be written with uh, normal pencil or graphite or black pencil 
you must use your blue color pencil for writing the questions and headings so agar copy 2 mein bhi aisa hi kaam aayega to copy 2 ka bhi cut hoga so it's better to write properly then if you will turn on your your page you will have the subtitles and the chapter name do not decorate your title and subtitles because it will consume your time just write them in a simple way the name of the chapter should be written on the blank page beta interleaf page copy abdul samad jo bhi student hai i don't know is he present in the class or not but he has done his uh, work in four lines copy theek hai to four lines ki copy aapki bilkul acceptable nahi hai beta i haven't checked the work of those students who have done it in uh, four lines copy so is cheez ka zara khayal rakhe after putting heading you will write in the center class work cw then you'll write the name of the uh, sorry you will write the day that's wednesday then you'll write the chapter question number 5 with your blue color pencil that is on your screen now that is on your screen now question number 5 give, give an example of a plant responding to its environment can you please tell me the name of the environment uh, the name of the uh, plant which responds to its environment can you please tell me the name of that uh, plant in the chat box I have told you in the slides. मैंने आपको अभी discussion के दौरान lecture explanation के दौरान I have told you this. Very good, Nuren. Very good. Nuren has told me the answer in the chat box. I must appreciate you. Well done, बेटा. Yes, you have told me the name of that plant correctly. So here comes the answer in front of you. I want you guys to write it fast because we need to do. we need to do our reasons as well there are five reasons you must write it quickly but with good writing with sharp pencil touch me not touch me not this plant responds by closing its leaf if we touch it Touch me not would be written in inverted commas. Inverted commas you can make with blue color pencil. Answer will be written with your black pencil, but you can uh, write the uh, you can put the inverted commas with your blue color pencil. Your copy will look good like this. Touch me not. After inverted commas, you can see another comma. That is simple comma I have put. Then the sen the sentence is. continued this plant responds by closing its leaves if we touch it this plant this plant responds by closing its leaf if we touch it question number 5 would be going to be the very first question in your copy 2 your work should be written in very good writing and your work should be your uh, pencils and color should be sharp you will not use any pen no marker will be used for any title page or anything just pencils just blue color pencil is allowed theek okay? hai title page pe bagicha bana ke koi nahi bhejega phool 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 charo taraf phool theek hai तो ये प्लांटेशन आप अपने घर में करेंगे तो ऑक्सीजन आपको ज्यादा मिलेगा बेटा रेस्पॉन्ड मींस मींस हाउ दिस प्लांट रिएक्ट्स रिएक्शन रेस्पॉन्स ठीक है जैसा हम कहते हैं ना रेस्पॉन्स देना ये रेस्पॉन्ड उसका वर्ब है दैट इज व्हाई वी आर पुटिंग एस विद इट दिस प्लांट रेस्पॉन्स by closing its leaf if we touch it but now i'm going to disappear this screen so we can have another screen on which the reasons are there agar aapka bhi bhi kaam reh gaya hai to fir aap ise link mein se kar lijiyega theek hai so i am going to have another screen share with you okay first let me know if my screen is clear to you sabse pehle mujhe bata dijiye is my screen clear to you guys
first you need to first you need to write the uh, question of reasons the question is put a tick this tick would be made the same way as i have made theek hai ye aapne tick bilkul aise hi banane put a tick for true and cross for false full stop give a reason for your answer give a reason for your answer beta you will be very careful while writing the reason question and their answer jo cheez maine blue se likhi hai matlab wo aapne blue color se likhni hai jo maine black se likhi hai wo aapne apni pencil se likhni hai your reason number 1 reason number 1 you can give the bit number as well by writing a b c right so reason number a that is your first reason living things grow because the size of their cells grow then you will come to the next line you will write reason r e a s o n reason then in front of that word you will going to you will write the reason ab kya wajah hai tell me that living things grow because the size of their cells grow क्या वो इसलिए ग्रो करते हैं कि उनके अंदर जो बॉडी में जो सेल्स होते हैं उनका साइज ग्रो करता है नो no, अगर सेल्स का साइज ग्रो करता तो फिर हम सेल्स को माइक्रोस्कोपिक ना कहते ठीक है व्हाई वी कॉल द सेल एज माइक्रोस्कोपिक बिकॉज द साइज डज नॉट ग्रो द नंबर ऑफ द सेल्स इंक्रीजेज इन द बॉडी द नंबर ऑफ द सेल्स इंक्रीजेज इन द बॉडी राइट सो द एंसर इज नो दे ग्रो बिकॉज the number of their cells increases full stop guys first you need to write the question of the reason that is put a tick for true and cross for false give a reason for your answer this would be written with a blue color pencil then you will come then you will skip a line then you will come to the next one line and you will write bit number a your bit number a would be your bit a would be living things grow because the size of their cells grow no they grow because the number of their cells increases is that clear they grow because the number of their cells increases beta no this will be done in your in your copy no not in the book till class 4 you people are considered to consider to be uh, to write these reasons and name these in the book but from class 5 onwards you are going to do all the work in your copy right so that is why i am just clearing each and everything that where you need to write blue color where you need to write your pencil I hope you are writing with me. In front of you, you can see the very first uh, first one. I guess you have done the number two is some living things are made up of only one cell. Full stop. Okay, you need to see that where I have used which one punctuation. The place where I have used full stop, comma, colon. सेमी कॉलॉन जो जो चीजें मैंने जहां जहां यूज की हैं जो जो कलर मैंने जहां जहां यूज किया है यू नीड टू डू इट द सेम वे रीजन नंबर टू इज सम लिविंग थिंग्स आर मेड अप ऑफ ओनली वन सेल यस यूनिसेल्युलर यूनिसेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ ओनली वन सेल यहाँ पर मैं एक करेक्शन कर देती हूँ यहाँ जो हम थर्ड वन में प्लांट्स लिखेंगे दैट वुड बी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम स्मॉल पी हम्म सो द सेकंड वन इज यस यूनिसेलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ ओनली वन सेल सो व्हिच ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ ओनली वन सेल दीज आर यूनिसेलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स unicellular organisms are the organisms which are made up of only one cell 
Now, guys, we are having just two minutes to get the class finished. So don't be worried if you could not complete it during class. This link would be given to you and you can do it afterwards as well. The third one is, the third one is, um, plants stop growing after some times. No, one thing we learned that no, plants keep on growing as long as they live. Jab tak zinda hai, tab tak hi growth. Karte rahenge, tab tak hi grow. Karte rahenge. But that doesn't mean ki inki height increase hoti jayegi. No, it means they will keep growing their leaves. They will keep growing their fruits. They will keep growing their flowers. They will keep growing their vegetables. The fourth one is, that is B. Living things cannot get energy from food in the absence of the oxygen? Yes, because living things get energy by oxidation of digested food. This is again the same thing which we'll learn in detail in the next chapter that we are talking about the respiration over here. Here we are talking about respiration. So, respiration is what we get uh energy milti hai, okay? yes because living things get energy by oxidation of food uh, number five is sunlight provides energy to plants to make their food the answer is yes plants make their food by the process of photosynthesis which requires sunlight the word photosynthesis must be written properly there should be no spelling mistake 